Hi, my name is Bob Lindy. I'm an herbalist and an herb grower. Today I'm going to talk to you about tips to get rid of fleas in your yard. This is a common problem for anybody who's got a dog that gets outside in their yard. Oftentimes our yard's not very well balanced because of a lack of water or nutrients. And oftentimes one of the biggest problems we have is our soil is very sterile and we don't actually have any nematodes in there, which can be a great predator for a lot of the fleas and other pests that we get in our yard. So it's important that if we can go down to our local garden store and go ahead and get some nematodes to start to amend the soil with, as well as some nice, good, rich compost that we can spread around our yard. But one of the faster ways to actually get rid of some of those fleas is to use diatomaceous earth. If we go ahead and broadcast that around our yard, but especially in the areas where our dog likes to lay down or hang out, where we might have a heavier concentration of fleas, this is a good place to continue to spread the DE, or diatomaceous earth. We do need to make sure that after rains, or any time the soils move, to reapply this, since there's a life cycle to the fleas, so we need to make sure that we're getting rid of the fleas each time they start to hatch, so that we can really reduce the life cycle and the spread of those fleas. But of course it's also important to get rid of the source of the fleas and try to get rid of the fleas that are on our dog so we can treat the bedding that our dog or cat may be sleeping in and also use either a natural or chemical means to take care of the fleas on our pet. So we take care of them inside and out. We can use diatomaceous earth as well as things like nematodes in order to create a balanced system for our yard to control the fleas in more natural means. This is Bob Lindy talking about some tips that can help to control fleas in our yard.